Hey, what's going on everyone? Nukem Duke Amir and G.I. Joe War on Cobra is finally out. I'm excited. It's available on iOS and Android. It's free to play, so it doesn't cost you guys anything. Special thanks to D3Go for sponsoring this video because they gave me a link below. If you guys use that link, uh, you guys get a free bazooka and missile BAT character in game. So it's free to play. Might as well check it out. So I'm excited because I do like G.I. Joe. If you, I'm kind of going to ask you guys, what is your favorite G.I. Joe character of all time? Most of you are probably going to like, oh, Nukem. Your favorite G.I. Joe character is probably Duke, isn't it? Since the Duke is in your name, Nukem Dukem. No, it's actually not. They're like, okay, it might be Snake Eyes. Even though Snake Eyes is probably the most popular character, I have to say mine is Sergeant Slaughter. I know it's funny, but it's, uh, just to see a WWE. F at the time, but it's now WWE uh, character inside GI Joe is just so funny uh, to to be in the um, in the universe of GI Joe. So with that being said, here we are. We're gonna get started. We got tanks going on here, and then uh, just the basic tutorials. We're summoning our jet. Roadblock is guiding our way through defeating Cobra. Now, what's interesting about this game is you can choose your side of who you want to play as on the Cobra side or you want to be on the G.I. Joe side so it's a it's a toss-up because you can be evil you can really be evil so with that being said let's go ahead and have Roblox push uh, take out all these other buildings in the area okay so we're almost over there we're just gonna go ahead and shoot missile there to help our ground forces to penetrate Cobra base faster and then you know what's kind of cool a special in-game gift from D3GO is a special appreciation for checking out G.I. Joe War and Cobra. They're also giving away two free characters for all players to help reinforce their army. So you got, he's got a lot of free stuff since the game is just coming out and celebration of G.I. Joe. Alright, we got him. We got him. And we got three stars, baby. Excellent. Okay, great job, recruit. No worries, Robrock. We're all here to help you guys out. All right, so this game does have pretty cool stuff. It has P PvP and a leaderboard, so you can test how well your skill is against other players in the world, and if you want to be the number one player, just to show off how smart you are, how tactful you are, and how good at G.I. Joe you really are. So let's go ahead and oil up our people. We got got to get them oil, you know, build more resources in our buildings at our personal base. So let's go ahead and make a machine gun turret. So... Go on the defense, and then we'll build one right here. So this game does, uh, you know, kind of guide you through and gives you tips and tricks of how to perform better at the game, which is awesome. Uh, and then once you got the basics, then it's up to you to masterful your skills to be better. Oh no, we're being attacked. The Cobra. Come on, turret. You can do it. I believe in you. Nice. All right, Baroness. She's here. Oh no, she's ready to take over her base. Alright, let's see where it goes. Okay, so let's go ahead and have Roblox have his revenge. And then we gotta take out the machine gun turret. So Roblox is a tank, so we're gonna have him be the front lines. And what we're gonna do is probably get our troops on the side here, since the turrets focus on him and our troops won't take any damage. So that's a one way to attack this. And then let's get this mineral deposit. Get these resources, baby. All right, knock it out. You know what? It's probably gonna need some rocket help. So let's go ahead and get a rocket barrage here. There you go. Got you guys some air support. There you go. Restars again. Excellent. All right, what does she want? Join Cobra. Oh, are we playing as Cobra? Or you get to play as the bad guys. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. Okay. So it looks like we <laughs> we destroyed Cobra's brace and now we're gonna play as Cobra rebuilding their base. That's interesting, right? We destroy to rebuild. So let's go ahead and go to the store and go on the support and then rebuild the oil right here, the oil dredger. Alright, excellent. Perfect. And fill it up.
All right, let's go ahead and have the Cobra attack. So what's different between the Cobra and G.I. Joe is different. Like you can see she's in the back and have the troops leading in front. So she's more of a back person where you have to protect her. And whereas the G.I. Joes, you have Roadblock being the tank taking the front damage while your troops are behind them. So it's different play styles depending on which side you choose. Uh, which I think is pretty unique, showing the difference between the two sides of G.I. Joe and Cobra. And this is now Cobra's race. Alright, three stars. There we go, baby. Battle cargo, six out of six. Aluminum cargo, and we get... What is this? Oh, nice. We get a free resupply right there. Alright. Dude, it's like what they say, knowing is half the battle. Alright, let's go open our cargo menu and let's see what we got here. Okay, let's go ahead and open the aluminum cargo. So we got more bat squad, common stinger, and steel battalion. So when we collect more, we can uh, upgrade our our squad to be more effective in battle. So that's something we want to strive towards. It's building up our army. But also when you get gold, you use your gold to upgrade it. So you have that resource management. So this is a tough decision. Are you guys going to pick G.I. Joe or are you guys going to join Cobra? Let me know in the comments section below which side you guys are going to join the G.I. Joe squad or the Cobra. I went ahead with, with the G.I. Joe because I'm going to pretend I'm Sergeant Slaughter right now, which is my favorite G.I. Joe of all time. All right, let's go ahead and complete the tips. So these are tips that you can complete to get more diamonds and kind of help you up through the whole game. Let's see. Let's go ahead and collect our oil. There we go. Got a thousand right there resource management and then let's go ahead and upgrade our oil building so we can produce more oil so we can upgrade more buildings and upgrade our whole base all right our squad let's go ahead and upgrade our vamp our badass truck right here sweet okay time to bring in the paint so let's go ahead and squad selection we'll make sure roadblock is there and then we're gonna add uh, the vamp right there. So we're gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and try earn three stars. Uh, you get two stars just for the buildings, but three stars if you destroy the command building. So that's our goal right there. All right, got troops behind. There you go. Lead the way. The way we walk. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and send our troops over here. And then you know what? Go ahead and attack the satellite. And then we'll move on to the final building where Cobra's hiding. I'll give you guys some air support just to make it easier for you guys. You know, I'm your Overwatch commander. And the vamp came in a little bit late. <laughs> Three stars. Duke was right by you. You are a great leader. I know, I am Duke. And Sergeant Slaughter. And Nukem Dukem. It's a mix of everything. <laughs> Alright. Dude, this is a fun game to play during your downtime. Like, if you're just like me, chilling in bed, trying to go to sleep, or just want to, like, think, do some fun strategies, is something I do, or like, let's just waiting in the car, or just uh, killing time between sports mats. This is when I usually play my phone games, and this game is perfect uh, strategy while I'm waiting between commercials and things like that. So, let's go ahead and go to Call to Arms. These are different missions we can do. Check it out in our map. So, we'll go ahead and put our name Nukem. You know what? Now I'm going to change it. Sergeant Nukem Dukem. No, wait. It has to be Sergeant Slaughter. Have to play my favorite, right? I tried. I tried. Sergeant Slaughter is calling me and I leveled up, baby. Leveled up. Got a new chest. Let's see what goodies we got. Okay, we got Rocket Barrage, nice, and Vamp, EMP Blast, ooh, we got a Rare Card and a Training Manual, more credits, nice, you can also rewatch the videos in case you miss uh, opening it, so, let's see what else we got, so we have three of them, let's go ahead and unlock it, and uh, during four hours of passive time, we can always check back and see what we got, or we can quickly unlock it with uh, some of our diamonds, oh, we went ahead and claimed the free cargo right here. Thank you so much for giving me free loot for this game. Okay. And 
Let's see, let's collect our radar since we built it from our tips. And have different events. So you can see what different events you want to get more currency here when you complete the missions. And there's a time limit. So well, I usually try to make sure I hit all this as much as I can before time runs out. So I can get maximize the event and basically make my troops pretty stronger. So we don't have enough gold to upgrade all that in my squad yet. So awesome. Let's go ahead and start our next battle. We're sitting ducks. Oh, Baroness. Oh man, she's taunting us. She's taunting us. So we have a squad selection or we can resupply all of our squads. All right, let's just go ahead and go straight to battle and deploy our troops here. So we can see the vamp is still on cooldown and our jet power. So you kind of want to make sure you destroy stuff. So you just uh, quickly uh, regain more energy to send out more troops into your next battle. So that's something to keep in mind when you're being tactical at the game. And then we'll just go ahead and take this top. It should give us three stars and we'll give the G.I. Joe's this section. All right, destroy it. Boom. We now claim this. It's ours. G.I. Joe territory now. Sweet. Battle cargo, bronze cargo, and we got deployed units. Okay, let's go ahead and go base, check everything out. So what's pretty cool is that this game, oh, welcome pack. This game rewards you. So every day you play, it keeps rewarding you with new good items just to, um, uh, just to keep boosting our abilities. So that's pretty cool. And we got our streak rewards. Thank you so much for that. So we can kind of decide. You can either go home base and then go to map to continue more quests. So with that being said, I want to, I don't want to spoil too much for you of the whole story and the campaign uh, aspect, but definitely check out this game because you guys know, knowing that knowing is half the battle. And you guys check out the description below. Make sure you guys use my link. You get a free gift on your mobile device on iOS or Android. You get your free bazooka and missile BAT when you use my link. And special thanks again for D3GO for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys in the battlefield.